So today I was just going to film uh, me doing kind of like my uh, regular daily routine with makeup. Um, I got some requests to do just like what I do um, on a normal day. Yeah, it's a mirror. So I thought I would do it for you. It's kind of what it looks like. Um, I, if you can't tell, I'm not a makeup artist, nowhere near, but I do enjoy messing around with makeup and kind of experimenting. Oh, more, 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 more. <laughs> Are you serious? All right, let's get started. Ow. I'm just gonna do my like everyday look when I actually do put makeup on, which is um, maybe like a couple few times a week, but it's not every single day. So, also, in the description, I'm going to put my Instagram account. You can go there and I will have um, the promo code for you to get 25% off of your purchase for um, Mikasa. So, I got these. It's like a little small brush set and I actually really, really, really like these brushes. I'm super picky about, about brushes, but these ones were super nice. I've already used them a bunch, so they're probably like super dirty, but I don't know if it's gonna focus. They're super nice, I really like them. Um, I have a few more, these are just the ones that I picked out. Yeah, if you want to um, get a discount on some brushes, um, just head on over to my Instagram page and use my promo code. So first thing I do is foundation. Um, sometimes I will do a primer. Usually I don't just because it's like one step less. So I'm not going to do it today because I usually don't. So I'm using the Dior, um, the spray foundation, but this one is 201. It's like, and I'm using this flathead um, iconic London brush, and I love this brand as well. So you just gonna spray. Um, the lighting in here is literally non-existent. <laughs> and I always put it, sorry, that was probably blocking the camera. Next, I use concealer. I use the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. <laughs> He's pushing his toy around. Hello, how are you? It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Uh? Yeah. Then Ginger. It's not as heavy duty as some of the other ones that I have. So this is why I like to use it on just like everyday use. my uh, Cora Beauty Blender and it's like a little silicone thing, little silicone thing and um, it actually really, oh, and there it goes. It works really well and I actually really like it. I've used it for quite some time now. The beauty blender, in my opinion, I'm a germaphobe. It's really disgusting. And like, I don't clean all my stuff as much as I should. I don't really have the time. Like, I don't, I don't remember it that much. In my opinion, they're just kind of gross. I use them for dry you know, purposes at the moment. It's falling out of the box. Next, I'm gonna let all that <laughs> sit, and I take my Laura Mer Mercier um, translucent setting powder, and I just put 
some in the cap. And I just put it under. Now I'm gonna let that sit. And while I'm letting that sit, I like to do my eyebrows. Oh, am I already out of this? I'm already out of this? I feel like I just got this. Oh, that's because there's another one. I was like, this is the right one. So for this, for my eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I really, really, really like this. Um, I've never tried gel or anything, but this is in soft brown. That's good for now. I make them as even as possible, but they're never really that even, so oh well. I'm going to take this Mikasa brush. It's a F100. And I'm basically just going to dust off all of this. So next for my eyelids, I'm taking Urban Decay Primer Potion. Oops, sorry. I've tried a bunch of them. This one's probably my favorite, I would say. That or the Smashbox one, I actually really liked. So for my um, eyelids, oh, and I actually I wanna mention this. So um, also with the brushes that I got from Mikasa, I also got this brush cleaner and it's like a quick brush cleaner type of thing and it just looks like this and you just take your brush and you literally just go over it so that's what it looks like and you literally can just take it and kind of like literally dust it off but I actually really like that and it cleans pretty easily I use dish soap I know you probably shouldn't um, so that's what I use because it's super quick and it really cleans it next I'm going to take my morphe mb23 brush it's like a blending brush type thing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about, obviously. Naked color right here on the Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original one. So we're taking the color Naked. It really doesn't do much, it's just like lightening up my crease. I like to take my brand new um, Naked Heat Palette. I'm like in love with it. I think it's, yeah, sauced, right? Sauced, that one. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm using my MAC 224 blending brush. Kind of darken up the crease again, but with that color. I don't know. It doesn't say what it is. I don't think it's a Morphe brush. I don't remember what it is, but it looks like that. I'm going to go in and take He Devil. It's like this super, super, super red color down here. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it on my lid. And then I'm just gonna take that blending brush from Morphe and I'm just going to blend those together. I'm gonna take that MAC blending brush and I'm gonna go in with this really deep Enfugo, I think, Enfugo. <laughs> no idea. It's kind of like a purpley maroon burgundy-ish color. I'm gonna take a little bit of that, like a very small amount, and do the hair on that. And I'm going to literally just put it in the crease. It's 
Sorry, the lighting is just so bad in here. I like, can't even see what I'm doing. So then last one, I'm just gonna go back um, with that heat level. Just take a little bit of it. Kind of tap it on my crease. And then I'm going to take this little brush. This one also does not have uh, a brand on it. It just says smudge brush. I'm gonna take this this end color, it's called Ounce. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it into the corners of my eyes. Then I'm gonna go back to the original Naked palette and I'm gonna take this second color, it's called Sin. It's like a shimmery pink color. And I'm just gonna put it right under my brow bone. Basically my highlight for my eyebrow. Now I'm going to put a little bit of bronzer on. Um, this is the Arbonne um, brand. If that's the name, I have no idea how to say that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my Mikasa F111 brush. So next I'm gonna do my eyeliner. This is basically, this is the only kind of eyeliner I can personally do. I've tried other kinds and I don't know why I, I just, I can't do it. <laughs> and this is, this way is like not the easiest way, but um, I've been doing this way since I was in high school, so I stick to it. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this MAC 263 um, eyeliner brush and I'm taking my MAC, um, I think it's Black Track eyeliner. Next I'm going to take my, this is the Tarte uh, primer and I need more of it, like now, because it's literally out. This is also Arbonne. Personally, not a fan. I was a fan of it when, when it was like brand new, but now that it's older, it like, it's really hard to put it, the stick back or the wand or whatever back into it so it's like really clumpy um, mascara it's really thick I like it. it it actually really made my eyelashes super long but over time inside the bottle and it really hasn't been that long it got all like I don't know it like built up All right, so that's what I do for my eyes, basically. I'm not a makeup artist, if you cannot tell. <laughs> I do like experimenting, it's super fun. I don't have like a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna take this Iconic London brush and it's like angled. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills contouring kit and I'm going to mix these three together. That's basically what I do for um, contouring. On just normal days, I'll do it a little bit lighter. Like if we're going out or something, I'll do it a little more like dramatic. I'll also take those three. Um, next I'm gonna take this brush again, the weird unnamed brush. I'm gonna take this middle brown color. And I just put it on the sides of my nose, just like barely any. So next I'm taking this super light color right here and I am I just put it down the bridge of my nose and at the end. I also put it over my little stash. And then I also do that behind right here because I really hate that, it's so weird looking. Then I take my Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Foundation, this Mikasa brush again.
So I just put that all over and then I can take, this is so sad. This is my Becca Champagne Pop highlighter. It's lovely. And guess who dropped it? <laughs> take a wild guess. So I'm gonna take this small little brush again and I'm gonna take some of that Champagne Pop and put it on the tip of my nose. Again. Like an angled smash box brush. It's really short. Um, I'm gonna take champagne pop again. Very last step, I take my Forever uh, Makeup Forever Fist Mist and Fix Spray. I have the little one, but I'm gonna get the big one next time. And that's basically what I do just for like, you know, if I'm gonna be like running errands all day or if I'm gonna go like, um, you know, to a little mommy meetup, have no one go to a play date or whatever. This is the look that I'll do. I don't like going out looking like a zombie. <laughs> because of my thyroid disease, my eyes are super dark. If you didn't see in the beginning, this is a lot better. <laughs> I do like to do my lips. I don't usually like to do this one, but if we are gonna do lips right now, this is actually the only one that I have on hand. This is the NARS Belle de Jour. I really like this color. I love nude lips for basically every look. I do when the want to try some like um maybe like a red lip sometime or like like a dark brown or something i think that would be kind of cool so i will probably try one of those sometime this is just what i do um like i said just if i go out um run errands go to the park i, I don't know 